Welcome to Learning in Limestone. Our goal, success for all. Welcome to the Wax Museum of Canadian History, where students will be reenacting the lives of early settlers. Let's take a step back in time. So, what early settler do you represent? Maeve, from Ireland. And how did you assemble your costume? Um, one of my facts was that they moved to Canada and became farmers. And in Ireland they had a potato famine, so I brought a potato. What's your favorite part about this project? Um, that we get to dress up and be different people. I'm sure that you learned lots of facts about early Canada. What was one of your favorite facts that you learned? That the French community adopted the Irish children. This seems like a really interesting way to learn about early Canadian histories. How do you feel as a parent about how it's excelled her learning? This is one of my favorite projects to see come home from school. Uh, Emma really loves this and she loves it for many factors. She gets choice in what she studies and that choice leads her down different paths in terms of uh, what she can actually learn. And in concert with that, she is practicing her drama skills, her creativity skills, her public speaking skills. It leads into confidence and a lot of self-expression um, as well as it gets us out and it gets us as parents to see the broader Henderson community. And it does really give her an opportunity to expand her French vocabulary and of course every other student that's been in the Wax Museum today. Absolutely. It's really remarkable as English speaking parents um, how wonderfully children excel in the French immersion. Uh, last year was my first experience seeing the Wax Museum and I couldn't believe the grade two students that could interchange their French and their English that um, rarely looked at their papers. And today we heard students be really expressive in both languages. So I'm always in awe of these uh, little guys and how well they do with this activity. And have you noticed any differences about this year to last year? Absolutely. This year I could see um, an immediate excitement. Emma knew what it was about. Emma was looking forward to it. Um, she had some very strong ideas about where she wanted to study, what aspects of the project she wanted to look into. Uh, when we got here today, there seemed to be a bit of more of an ease in their presentation um, and a willingness to really express herself. But um, there's been a growth in her confidence. What was your favorite part about learning about the early communities of Canada? Um, I think my favorite part is that every person gets their own community to learn about and there's like five or five or ten students that are doing the same project as you, so it's not just you who's doing it, there's a couple other students who are learning about the community. Do you think you're gonna learn to play bagpipes soon? I don't know. If I choose to do a second instrument when I am older, I might choose this, but I don't know. Through storytelling, grade two, three French immersion students are able to have the opportunity to learn about early Canadian communities in a wax museum, truly bringing learning alive. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time at Learning in Limestone. Learning in Limestone is brought to you by the Limestone District School Board.